Hey there. So I'm creating this video for you in case you have ever had or experienced anxiety. I want to touch on a few things that I've learned over the years. One of the first things that I want to touch on is this idea that I'm unable to find the right answers or that you are unable to find the right answers to the solution of the anxiety problem. It's quite funny that in order to find the answers and whilst we're trying to seek the uh, solution to our problem, especially pertaining to negative emotions, negative feelings like fear or doubt or anxiety, uh, we somehow end up creating more anxiety when we feel like we may have gotten a little bit better and found some answers but we haven't found them all and if you're anything like me that will actually keep the anxiety going on a loop because you still feel like there's something else that you're missing that you're just not understanding about yourself about your anxiety or about anxiety in general and so what I want to do here now is talk to you about the fact that this whole process of understanding anxiety it all comes down to understanding yourself understanding who you are taking the time out of your every single day to be in touch with your feelings, to be in touch with your thoughts and to be in touch with your heart. Every, every part of your body has something to tell you. But the three main things are your mind, your heart and your gut. Those are like the uh, three brains, so to speak. I'm sure you've probably heard that before. And the more we can get to know our, ourselves even though we, we, it doesn't seem like we can uncover all of the pieces of who we are in one go as much as we might want to. That's all part of the process, not to worry about that, because every day that goes by you're learning more about yourself and you can't expect it to all come in one big false swoop because otherwise that would just overwhelm you if you were to know really you already do know who you are it's just that some days are filled with lots of things you know including having fun including going to work so we can't necessarily know ourselves 100% all the time but what we can do is make sure we put in the effort to do that every day to to ask yourself how am I feeling how how, how is this body feeling and meditation is key to that but before I go on talking about that anymore, I want to talk to you about what I think anxiety really is. You can guarantee that if you have anxiety in a moment, then the root cause of this anxiety is coming from you choosing, resonating with a negative thought. I want to make it simple for you, even though it's not as simple as that, because anxiety is like the... Um, the second to last symptom almost if you if you see the spectrum of negative emotion you'll see how it's kind of it kind of goes like this there's depression anxiety um, doubt and then let's say fear on the positive spectrum from the high to the low you've got uh, bliss peace love and neutrality. So when you understand that anxiety is probably the second to last thing that's coming as a result of you doing something that goes against your inner being. Really, your inner being is, is the one that really loves you for who you are. It's, it's your unconditional love for yourself. It's your blueprint of your um, personality, so to speak. It's, it's who you really are and when you're out of alignment, when you're in negative spirals of emotions, you feel bad because your inner being feels bad because your inner being wants to give love and share positivity with itself and with others because it knows the process that when it loves itself, it loves other people. Um, but if you're interested in learning more about that, you should check out Abraham Hicks. Because again, I want to get back to 
the idea of anxiety. So um, you can guarantee that there's a thought that you've resonated with that you now need to go back and not necessarily try and trace that thought because that's not always possible. What you can do though is remember that you made a choice and that's all you did. Unfortunately, in this case, if you have a some anxiety going on it may mean that you made a choice and it's probably very much likely a choice that you made uh, many years ago and it was a choice to so <laughs> we receive thoughts and we receive let's say this energy from um, source all the time we're always receiving this and the mind is a funny thing you can't necessarily um, we can't understand what it really is but it is at the root of most of our processes um, the, the mind is what controls how the body is how, how it moves how it heals or it doesn't heal and the mind is the main controller you can't always know why you get such a let's say negative thought come to you but that doesn't matter. What matters is what choice you make in the moment. So, let's say you're going about your day unconsciously. You're not listening to your breath, listening to your body. It's going to be easy for you to have, let's say, a negative thought come in. Not recognise that it's a negative thought and resonate with it, believe it, when really all we need to do is be, try our best to be more vigilant of what we allow into our home because it's, it's coming in through, through, the, through the head, let's say. Someone is in a space of a lot of anxiety and if we were to trace that back, you would maybe see a thought that comes into the head that says, I'm not worth it, I'm not enough, um, no one likes me something like this and then what happens and this is the choice we make so this is like a fork in the road so this here comes the thought is in the middle and you have two roads this is the negative road this is the positive road and what happens is why would anyone choose the negative road well they don't no one really consciously chooses that most people want to choose the positive it's just the reason they don't is because they're ignorant to it they don't understand that they can choose that and they forget that they can choose that so what happens here is that this negative emotion sorry this negative thought then turns into an emotion depending on what we choose if we hear this thought and we then apply meaning to it, resonance with it, we are then applying an emotion to it. It's kind of like this thought is a little seed and how we deal with it, how we feed it, so to speak, determines our future feelings. Yeah, because this little seed is what's turned into this huge amount of anxiety that's going on right over here in your in your stomach in your chest area. So if we if we come back down into the, where it starts into the little seed, we can say instead of saying, you know, maybe maybe you could be right, maybe I, I'm not worthy, and then and then comes sadness, right? Comes sadness, comes. Um, inferiority comes uh, self depletion all of these these feelings that are that basically are killing us they they on a micro level they 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 cause destruction in the body so here we are with our little seed and we've attached some negative thoughts to it and then you know it's kind of gained momentum now it's got it's got a thought and then it's got an emotion wrapped around the thought and what kind of happens is is it comes up then it has to be expressed in the body in some way the problem is we don't want to have to express that it, it can be expressed but generally what happens is most of that anxiety gets repressed because you no one wants to have to deal with that no one wants to have to show that feel that through their body unless they're going through a, a healing 
let's say, um, where they're actually attending to their emotional body consciously and allowing energy and emotions to move through. So this repression of the anxiety just causes more of it, just causes more of it. So let's go back to that seed. We have a thought come in and it may happen. Usually I find that it happens when you've allowed your, your mind to be distracted for too long. The mind with my mind, and I know this is the same for many other people, I can be thinking the most positive, beautiful thoughts in one minute. And in the next minute, I can be thinking something completely different. A completely different thought can come into my head that is the polar opposite of that. So just because you're able to switch from positive to negative really quickly doesn't mean that you should judge yourself for that because I think a lot of it is there as our, our lesson, is there as our um, challenge that we have to understand how to overcome because it's going to make us stronger. When we get to the other side of understanding we have a choice. So the seed comes in and it's a thought and maybe you take a moment to just um, think about this thought right? You, you try to understand, how do I feel about this thought? Well, if it's the same one as before, we're going to feel like that's not a very nice thought. And then what we need to do simply is move on to something else that we actually want to think about. Nobody has to think about something that you don't want to think about. You can choose always, doesn't matter if you're in a prison cell, doesn't matter where you are, you can guard your mind, you can choose your thoughts all the time. That is our free will, that is what makes our life the way that it is, the, the choices that we make. And this seed comes down and instead of resonating with it, because it's an illusion, go to the other side and we say, okay, well, I'm not liking the, the feeling of that thought right now. How can I interpret it differently? What are you really saying to me right now, thought? So I would say that there's two ways we could go about this. We could ask that question. We can ask, how can I interpret this feeling differently? So let's say I feel uncomfortable right now. Okay, well, how can I make you more comfortable? How can I make you feel more comfortable right now? And this is you talking to yourself, right? Because I think a lot of the negative emotions that we, a lot of the negative thoughts that we experience, they're, they're, they're coming out. They're usually linked to some sort of uncomfortability, either surrounding who we are, what we do, the world around us. It's an uncomfortability factor. So what can I do then to make you feel like you are worthy? What can I do to make you feel that you are comfortable? We can take that route and we can then maybe, I don't know, write down some things that we're grateful for. We can choose gratitude because gratitude is the key to happiness. Or what we can do is become the passive observer. This is this is requires a bit more training I think this requires a bit more time spent with meditation um, in being able to but sometimes it happens naturally so that's the cool thing about um, this spiritual experience that we're all having that many of us are waking up to is that these things can just come naturally so what can happen is you get this thought and it's uncomfortable and you'd rather not be thinking it you'd rather not have to feel into it but hold your horses you don't have to you, you can choose the other side and here's how you can allow this thought to to be there you're not you're not resisting it you're not pushing it away what you are doing is deciding well this thought doesn't feel very good in my body in my being right now so I know myself I know how I like to feel choose a thought then that is going to help you to feel joyful in that moment that's going to help you to feel excited try to transmute that thing then because if you've attached to it then it, it automatically becomes let's say a, a sprout you know once the seed is planted and you've attached something to it well you've got a little sprout now so before it gets much bigger you know and even if it does get bigger you'll be okay right if you if you by accident choose the negative you'll be okay just remember that always. It doesn't matter if it's turned into a fully fledged flowering, I don't know, fern. Um, 
you can still find go back to the root you can still reverse the process it just takes a bit longer right so that's why we want to start at the beginning and a lot of these seeds as I say have been planted in childhood in teenage years so what this means is that it will require it will require days on end for you to get to the other side of this anxiety, for you to get to the, the root causes of things. But when anxiety comes up in a moment, but say you choose the positive side, um, you're going to look at this thing and you're going to say, well, you know, this anxiety probably stemmed out of some old thought paradigm. And it was stemmed, it came out of me being ignorant to the fact that I didn't know that when I attach, when I resonate with a negative thought and when I attach emotions to it, I then create more of that. And I know that I don't want more negative thoughts in me to keep occurring. I don't want more painful feelings to arise in situations that may trigger me. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say, I acknowledge you, anxiety. I acknowledge that I may have made uh, a choice to choose the negative in the past, but right here, right now, in the present, I choose the positive. And that's it. And that's all you've got to do. When you choose the positive, no matter what, moving forward every single day, it will always, always counteract any of that negative yeah it will always be able to balance everything out again that is my experience so far the more that i think positive momentum positive alignment um in all different types of ways the more that i have light a lighter being a lighter feeling in my body and the less of the negativity that i experience on a daily basis so it's not about fighting, conquering that anxiety all in one go. It's about making that one choice every single time. Every single time. It's one choice. Choose the positive. It's so simple and there's so many ways that seekers and spiritual teachers have talked about this. Um, so in the very least, I hope this can be a simple thing for you to re remember when you're in that situation. Oh, there goes my anxiety. Well, sort of fueling it, thinking that I, I needed to do more to, to not have this anxiety right now. Thinking that, well, what, where is this coming from? You know, I want to get to the root of this thing. Or or maybe even add into it, you know, oh yeah, maybe something even worse is going to happen now. <laughs> you know, all of the things that can spiral into the negative straight away as soon as that thought comes in as soon as that feeling is maybe there um choose your thoughts choose the joy choose the excitement choose the love first and foremost and choose it in your feeling body as well as your thinking mind yeah so for example thought comes in oh i'm not worthy i'm not good enough I understand that thought, I understand your anxiety, don't worry, I hear you, I, I know where you're coming from, you're coming from an old paradigm, you're coming from a part of me that chose to choose the negative in a moment, but right now, anxiety, right now I'm choosing the positive, so let's look at the positive for a moment, let's look at what I would rather think about, what I would rather think about is that I'm enjoying this beautiful scenery around me right now, or what I would rather think about is how far I've come in all of this what I would rather feel into is the joy of my being that is there at the root of my own truth when I tap into my stillness it is there silently in my breath always that peace that bliss and I can tap into it right now just by the simple act of breathing simple as that you could choose anything you want anything at all that's gonna help you to um choose the positive it could be going to a secret garden in your mind in the moment it could be getting into a space of um mindfulness of the present moment you know really really tap into your senses perhaps in the moment if you want to choose positivity uh think about what can i smell right now what can i see right now what can i taste what can i hear 
what can I feel? Um, there's so many ways that you could do it. So for as many ways as there are to spiral into the negative, there are countless more ways to choose the positive. So don't ever be overwhelmed by your anxiety. Always choose the positive and uh, remember that you're awesome. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. Peace, love and light to you all.